you next. <laughs> Let's get ready to rumble. Let's get ready to rumble. <laughs> yeah. Throw your hands up. Throw your hands up. Throw your hands up. Let's get ready to rumble. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Let's get it on. All they see is black venoms in my silhouette Just watch the fear reappear in their eyes when I hit the set Oh no, Tupac with team types and seldom was seldom seen I am Mike, cut his head like a guillotine Time, Time for some action, you may get me high Like Tony Braxton, bust the switch and like Dennis Rodman We still massive, I put my hand up to God Like this hard fit with stress Throwing blows in this square circle to see the best Mike don't hurt him, what they scream, wait, what they need Tyson put him work his head, touch the whole guy Many great fighters have come from Nottingham, England. A few have been rightful custodians to the title of Sheriff of Nottingham. Some most notable names are Carl the Cobra Frotch, who won multiple world titles at super middleweight, including the WBC twice, IBF and WBA. In addition, he had also won the British and Commonwealth titles. Probably most remembered for fights against George Groves, with over 80,000 in attendance. His two fights against Mikhail Kessler, and who can forget his comeback win against Jermaine Taylor, after being behind on the scorecards and knocking Taylor out in the 12th round with merely seconds left of the fight. Frotch would also go on and win Fighter of the Year in 2012. Nottingham also produced Harold Bomber Graham, who plied his trade at light middle, middle and super middleweight. Harold was an outstanding boxer who won British, Commonwealth and European titles, but sadly came up short for the world titles when losing to hard-hitting Julian Jackson in four rounds. Mike McCullum by split decision and finally Charles Brewer in his last fight eventually being stopped in the 10th round. Going even further back to 1839, William Thompson, bare knuckle heavyweight champion of England, who turned professional three years later and amassed 19 wins and just only one loss, winning the English title. So there is definitely something in the water in Nottingham and now they have a new world champion to celebrate and a new custodian to the title of Sheriff of Nottingham. Born on the 1st of August 1988 in Gedling, Nottinghamshire, Lee Wood attended boxing sessions with his brother and his brother's mates. One of their mates' mum would take them. Over time, Lee's brother and his mates would stop going. Lee quickly realised that he couldn't stop and the law to the square circle consumed him. Fighting out of an orthodox stance, Lee had a reasonably successful amateur career and in 2011 would reach the quarter-finals of the 2011 ABAs at 57 kilos losing to Andrew Colcan in Liverpool. Wood also represented England as an amateur in 2009 and 2010, winning fights against John Franklin of the USA and Mo Ali respectively. Both fights were at 54 kilo. Shortly after, Lee would turn pro and he had his debut on the 28th of October 2011 in the Clifton Leisure Centre in Nottingham. Lee would win a six round points decision against Chuck Jones. Lee would go on to amass a record of 11-0, winning the British Masters and International Masters at Featherweight and at Super Bantamweight respectively. In his 12th fight on the 22nd of February 2014, Lee would go on to fight highly fancied Gavin McDonnell for the vacant British Super Bantamweight title at the Ice Arena in Hull. 
The fight was eventually stopped in the sixth round due to Wood being stunned and unable to defend himself. Wood put on an impressive performance and was in control of the fight after winning the first five rounds. But prior to the fight, Wood had to lose weight for himself to make the weight limit for the fight and after a few rounds, Wood was becoming tired. After the loss to McDonald, Wood had a comeback fight against Martin Mabiru and put in a good performance and earned a third round TKO. Three more fights followed as Lee stepped up to featherweight before taking on Josh Whale in a British title eliminator. Wood went on to win the fight comfortably, winning the fight unanimously on all three scorecards. Next up for Lee was a fight against former foe, Lee Glover. Glover had beaten Wood seven years prior in the amateurs. Lee went on to punish Glover with a barrage of punches, finally stopping Glover with a big left and perfectly picked flurry of punches, sending Glover to the canvas and not making the count. In the process, Lee would win the Midlands area title and reverse the decision of seven years prior. Would then face Abraham Osei for the vacant Commonwealth featherweight title on the 2nd of March 2019. He made quick work of Bonsu, winning the fight by a second round knockout. Wood made his first title defence against the former Commonwealth featherweight champion Ryan Doyle on the 10th of May 2019. Wood won the fight by a 10th round knockout. He first staggered Doyle with a left hook and a flurry of punches before knocking him out with a counter left hook and ending the contest, asserting himself as an exciting fighter. This is into the 10th round of this Commonwealth featherweight title fight between Lee Woods and Ryan Doyle. And that is a huge left hand from Lee Woods, just as you come to it. So Ryan Doyle just clinging onto the ropes there, trying to keep himself up as he went down. And he has a beat in the count. Ian John Lewis gets to the count of 10. On October the 4th, 2019, Lee Wood took on the reigning WBO European featherweight champion, David Oliver Joyce, in the quarter-final of the Golden Contract featherweight tournament. Wood secured a victory with a ninth round technical knockout. Again, Joyce stands his ground and exchanges probably foolishly. I think he probably should have grabbed a hold there, but he's just firing back. But he took it well, and again, again, another massive right hand, hand there of Marcus oh. McDonald has jumped in and he has raised this one over. Joyce cannot quite believe it, but he was clipped by the right hand. He staggered back, he's close. In the semi-finals of the Golden Contract Featherweight Tournament, held on February 21st, 2020, Wood defended his WBO European title against Jazza Dickens. However, he narrowly lost the bout by a majority decision. The judges' scores were close, with two judges scoring at 95-94 and 96-94 for Dickens, whilst a third judge scored it as a 95-95 draw. On July the 6th, 2021, Lee Wood was announced as a challenger to the WBA regular featherweight champion, Shu Chan, as part of Matchroom's fight camp. Going into the fight, Wood was considered a significant underdog, with very few giving him more than a puncher's chance. However, Wood surprised many by outboxing the champion during various stages of the fight, ultimately securing an upset victory via a 12th round technical knockout. Lee Wood's first defence of his newly acquired title took place on March 12th, 2022, at the Motor Point Arena in Nottingham, against Michael Conlon. Wood was knocked down in the final seconds of the first round, and Conlon dominated the fight for several subsequent rounds. However, Wood made a remarkable comeback in the later rounds, and in the 11th round, Conlon went down, although it was scored as a knockdown despite protests from Conlon's corner, who believed it was a slip. In the 12th round, with Conlon ahead on all the scorecards, Wood managed to knock out Conlon just 1 minute and 25 seconds into the round. Conlon fell through the ropes and was taken to hospital for checks, although he later confirmed he was all good and that the scans were clear. Wood's 12th round technical knockout of Conlon was recognised as the winner of both the Ring Magazine's Fight of the Year 2022 and Knockout of the Year 2022. On April 6th, 2022, the WBA formally issued an order for their super champion, Leo Santa Cruz, to defend his title against Lee Wood in a mandatory bout. They allowed a 30-day window for the two parties to reach an agreement and avoid a purse bid. Matchroom Boxing advocated for a 50-50 split of the purse, deviated from the usual allocation between a super champion and a mandatory challenger, 
which would have favoured Santa Cruz. Unfortunately, Santa Cruz's TGB promotions and Woods Matchroom Boxing couldn't come to terms. Subsequently, on July the 19th, 2022, the WBA again directed their featherweight superweight champion, Leo Santa Cruz, to face Wood, giving Santa Cruz a 24-hour deadline to respond. Santa Cruz sought an exemption from his mandatory defence to instead fight WBC featherweight champion Ray Vargas, but this request was denied by the sanctioning body. In a bid to postpone their fight and face Vargas, Santa Cruz offered Wood step aside compensation, which Wood's camp declined. On August the 1st, the WBA informed both parties that a purse bid was scheduled for August the 12th, with a minimum bid of $150,000 and a 75% share going to Santa Cruz as a super title holder. Matchroom Boxing had previously submitted an appeal for an equitable purse split, but it was rejected by the WBA. However, the two sides ultimately reached an agreement to finalise the fight on August the 12th. Surprisingly, this agreement was not for them to face each other, but to pursue separate bouts. This request was approved by the WBA on August 24th, 2022. On the same day, it was announced that Lee Wood's second WBA regular title defence would be against Mauricio Lara, with about expected to headline a DAZN broadcast card. The fight was scheduled for September 24th, 2022 at the Motor Point Arena in Nottingham. Unfortunately, Wood withdrew from the fight just 10 days before the scheduled date due to a torn bicep sustained during sparring. On September the 30th, the WBA once again mandated negotiations between Wood and Santa Cruz for a title consolidation bout. However, on December the 12th, Santa Cruz vacated his title, leaving Wood as his sole champion in the division. As the fight with Santa Cruz fell through, Wood was rebooked to defend his featherweight title against Mauricio Lara on February the 18th, 2023. Wood was knocked down by a left hook near the end of the seventh round, and though he rose before the 10 count, his trainer Ben Davison decided to throw in the towel six seconds before the round's conclusion. Simultaneously landing left hooks and down Wood goes. The danger very much still there. Dying seconds of the seventh round. Can Lara finish it here now? Barely 10 seconds to go. And the towel comes in from Ben Davison to the protests of Lee Wood. But Ben Davison has decided that Lee Wood is in no fit state to continue and still he's on unsteady legs in the corner and a sensational turnaround from Mauricio Lara. Subsequently, Wood had a rematch with Mauricio Lara for the WBA featherweight title at the Manchester Arena on May the 27th, 2023. Lara missed weight at the official weigh-in by £3.8 pounds and was consequently stripped off the belt, making Wood the only contender for the vacant championship. Wood claimed the vacant title with a unanimous decision as two school cards read 118 to 109 and one school card read 116 to 111. The WBA later ordered Wood on May the 30th, 2023 to make a mandatory title defence against the number one ranked contender, Otterbeck Kolmatov. However, two months later, the sanctioning body approved Wood's request for a voluntary title defence against a former two-time IBF featherweight champion, Josh Warrington with a stipulation that the winner must face Kolmatov within 120 days of their fight. The bout took place on October the 7th, 2023, at the Utilita Arena in Sheffield. Wood secured a seventh round knockout victory, despite training on the judges' scorecards to 58-56, 59-55 and 59-55 at the time of the stoppage. Additionally, Warrington had landed nearly twice as many total punches, 104 to 53, and power punches 79 to 40 by that point. It doesn't matter where you are in life. If you don't feel blessed, you won't be blessed. You gotta know your worth before you can be worth anything. All the days when not a thing went right. All the pain, all the sleepless nights. I'm not blessed because it all went right. I'm a warrior. I'm blessed because I can't fight when failure try to take my mind. I wouldn't let failure take my life. I'm not blessed because it all went right. I never give up, I'm blessed because I can't fight Broken in pain, lonely, battered and bruised Always the same day, nothing new or unusual Seems like nothing changed, it's always the same rules No matter how bad it gets, I refuse to lose No matter how bad it gets, I'll keep on moving No matter how bad it gets, I can still choose To keep fighting up, to keep trying up To keep grinding up, keep rising up I just got to that point where enough was enough I can't keep complaining, seeing and waiting for luck I have to stop asking why me And start looking inside I think it's 
fair to say that Lee now more than deserves his share of super fights coming his way. There are so many fights out there for him. There is a possible rematch against Warrington. The other talk is Lee vacating his belt and moving up to super featherweight to take on Joe Baldina in what will be a tasty all British war with Baldina's IBF title on the line. Also there is a potential for a fight against the winner of the WBC super featherweight champion Oshaki Foster and Eduardo Hernandez. Or there is the fight against Hector Garcia who won the WBA super featherweight title against Roger Gutierrez on August 20th, 2022. The Dominican fighter has only one defeat against Geronto Davis. Whichever route the Sheriff chooses, I'm sure it'll be a great fight if we continue to follow the rise of Lee Wood. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more boxing updates and news. And think I'm alright because I always smile But they ain't seen the grind I run so hard that overtime is just normal time When you lose it all and then still lose again It builds a different kind of fight inside It builds a different